Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. Today I'm going to do a Poshmark update for everybody. So, we've been on Poshmark for five weeks now. Uh, yesterday was officially five weeks since I started using the Posh 30 Minute Method. Um, this past weekend, Saturday, was actually five weeks since I opened a closet on Posh. Um, but the first three days I kind of floundered around I didn't really know what to do once I discovered the 30 minute method I thrived I really got like a handle on it um, the 30 minute method is perfect for me it's a list you work down you can check each thing off as you do it and you're working on a timer which can increase productivity so I discovered that uh, May 22nd and that was a Tuesday so yesterday was five weeks officially since we started on Posh and we have had one sale so while that is discouraging having only one sale after having put in all this time on Posh I have to kind of put it in perspective for myself so I made myself think back to when we first started on eBay when we only had a couple hundred listings and we were only selling a couple items a week and it felt like I was putting in all this work and all this effort with measurements and photographs and listing and it just wasn't paying out but eventually we built up to 2,000 listings and now we're power sellers and we sell a pretty good amount every week so when I think about that I have to realize that I'm still pretty new to posh I don't have a lot of items in my closet we have about 143 items in there now give or take if I've had to take some down that sold on eBay um, so put in that perspective it's kind of like well I remember eBay at first felt like lots of work and lots of effort without the payout. If you do the math, in five weeks I have spent about 17 and a half hours on Posh, which in eBay land, 17 and a half hours would be about 170 to 200 listings with our 0.5% sell through rate on average. That would be one to two sales on eBay. So in five weeks, if I'd only put 17 and a half hours of work into eBay, I only would have increased our sales by one or two. And I had one sale on Posh in that time, so that's actually pretty good. I also had two offers um, I countered on. I was being a little greedy, and they declined, which is fine. So when I put it into perspective like that, um, think about how much time I'm spending on Posh versus what it would equate to in eBay, it all makes sense. It is new, it is the beginning, and anything in life, especially business, the beginning time is the time when you don't feel the payout and you get frustrated and you get discouraged because you're putting all this effort in and you're not seeing the payout. But if you keep your head down and you keep at it, eventually you'll see the payout. So I have four things that I think are hindering our sales in Posh. Four reasons or four things that I'm doing that are making it so we aren't more successful. So I'll tell you what the four are and then I'll tell you how I'm fixing them. Number one, we have way too many out of season items in our closet. We don't have enough listings in our closet. Number three, I'm not sharing enough. And number four, the photos. How am I fixing this? Well, number one, the out of season items is because when I first started post posting on Posh or cross posting, I had the mindset of people pay more money for items on Posh and most of you can attest to that. Most of you have told me that. And so when I was cross posting, I would go into the back end of eBay and my active listings and sort by highest price to lowest and just work my way down that way, putting my most expensive items in Posh first. The downfall to that is most of our very expensive items are jackets, sweaters, sweater vests, jeans, things people are not looking for right now. They are out of season and they will sell eventually. Um, I do sell a lot of out of season items on eBay, but I think Posh is a different, it's just a different platform and I think having all these out of season items in the closet is hurting us. So how I've been fixing that is I have been moving over all of our ladies swimwear, our men's swim trunks, our women's shorts. I'll be moving over men's shorts and women's tank tops soon. 
So I'm going to fix that by moving over in-season items and hopefully our sales will pick up. Number two, not enough listings. Well, if you follow the Posh 30 Minute Method, you are listing three items a day. If you do it seven days a week, you are growing by 21 items a week, which isn't very much. And having only 140 or so items with that kind of sell through rate, you're probably only looking at one sale every couple of weeks. I want to make more sales. I want to sell more. So I need more items in my closet because the more items you have listed, the bigger your net, the more buyers you're going to catch. So I have managed to finagle my schedule and my time and balance it out. So on Saturdays and Sundays, I have an extra half hour both days to do nothing but cross post to posh. I still do the 30 minute method, um, but then I do an additional 30 minutes on top of that where I'm just cross posting straight for the 30 minutes. I can do about 14 to 20 items in the half hour depending on what I'm cross posting and how quick those kind of items um, move for me, moving everything over. So say low end 15, I'm getting 30 extra listings in my closet a week, plus the three items a day on the weekdays. I'm growing by 45 items a week and I think that'll really help. By having more items in the closet, we'll sell more. Number three, sharing. This one I really don't know what to do with. Um, incorporating Posh into my schedule in the first place was rough. It was rough. It was very hard for me to find the time to incorporate cross posting to Posh and Macari. Um, I just, I don't know where I can find more time. I know a lot of people say they like to share when they're waiting at the doctor's office or um, if they're not driving, they're doing it in the car. I'm gonna have to figure something out because I know the biggest way to increase your sales on Posh is to not only share your closet more, but to share other people's closets and follow more people. And so more people are following you and they're all sharing your stuff to their followers and then you have to share your closet. And I just, like I just barely get that 30 minute method in every day with my schedule and I'm having a tough time finding more time. So that's something I have to work on. I haven't fixed yet. And then of course my photos. Um, everyone knows Posh likes square photos. And when you move stuff over from eBay, Posh will square it for you. But as you can see, it cuts part of the items out. And I think that one, maybe people are hesitant to buy stuff if the sleeves and the hem don't show in the photo or these two pants are a perfect example. You see those two dress slacks? They don't look like dress slacks. They look like a brown blob and a tan blob. And I just kind of feel like maybe that's turning people off because the pictures don't show the entire product. And not only that, they're ugly. So I found this app called Square Fit. You can see it right there. Um, and it takes any photo you have and makes it into a perfect square. The only fallback is when it turns it into the perfect square, you see at the top and bottom there the blurry, you have to um, do a background there if you don't want the blurry part, which is fine with me because I am not going to ever be that posher that has the fancy little pictures with the, right, the white little fuzzy rug and the props. That's just A, not who I am, and B, since I crank most of my stuff out for eBay, and eBay prefers the plain white background without any props, I'm using the same photos for Posh that I have for eBay because I'm not pulling out all my inventory and redoing the photos. I'm using what I've got, I'm moving it over, I use this app to turn them into squares, and then to get rid of the blurry part, I am using colorful bars and I think that the colorful bars, once I get my whole closet um, redone through the Square app and add the colorful bars, I think they'll be very pretty. I match them to the product. Um, and if I can't find one to match, I just use purple because that's 
like our store color. I think it's going to stand out. It's going to like brand our store. We're going to be that store with the color bars that match their product. And that will be my version of the fuzzy blanket and the props. My, uh, look at those shorts. Aren't they cute? With their little matching bars. So the matching bars, the colors in the closet, that's going to be my version of adding props or fuzzy blankets. I can take my plain white backgrounds from eBay photos, put them into the Square Fit app, and then add those colors. And that will make my closet stand out a little bit and give it a little bit of pop. And it'll be different from everybody else's. I won't look like everyone else, um, which is always a good thing in business. You want to stand out. So just a real quick recap, and then I'm gonna let you guys go. I've been talking enough. Um, I am currently moving more items over that are in season, that are items people are looking for now. I'm increasing the amount of items I have in our closet. I'm working on my schedule and trying to find a way to incorporate more time to share. And I am going through my photos and making sure there are little perfect squares that show every inch of the item and have a colorful bar to make us stand out. If you guys have any more advice on anything I can do to increase our sales on Posh or increase my productivity on Posh, I would appreciate it. You can comment down below. I'm still new and I'm still learning and I'm probably making mistakes left and right with Poshmark. Um, but it is a journey and when I am learning as I go, I'm obviously learning from all of my mistakes and using them as lessons to fix and moving forward do things a little bit better but if there's something I'm doing wrong that you guys see feel free to tell me in the comments tell me how I can be more productive tell me how I can share more how can I sell more what do you guys do to increase your sales on posh um, and you know I will take heed everything you guys say especially those of you that are the posh masters because I am definitely not I'm still brand new and learning um, yeah, I appreciate any comments you guys have. Uh, let me know how your posh stores are going to. Your closets, I'm sorry. I'm such an eBay seller. <laughs> your store, no. You, let me know how your closets are going. Do me a favor, smash that like button if you would. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.